Hello friends, I hope you're well on this really beautiful day. So today I thought I would film a favourites of the moment. I'd say month, but it's probably been a bit longer since I've been using them. So favourites of the moment. So I've grabbed some of my makeup and I've grabbed some of the high-end stuff and also I've tried to find a drugstore dupe or a similar or as dupey, dupey, dupe as similar as possible to it. So then you have two options if you can find them. So I'll start off with, let's have a look. Hmm, eyeshadow, cause you know, I love me some eyeshadow. It's one of my favorite things. So the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadows in the Holy Grail. Oh my goodness, this, absolutely gorgeous. I have used this to absolute death. Look at these beautiful tones. I use this pretty much almost every day if I'm not using Ingla, but the pigment of these is absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, and you can really find um, just, you can use it for any occasion, whether you wanna do a bit more subtle or a bit more va -boom, like I tend to do, but it comes with a mixture of mattes and also shimmers. That is my favorite color. Oh, it's so pretty. So I absolutely love this one. Um, I think it retails over here for maybe about $80, I think. But it's well worth the money because, I mean, look how many shadows you get. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm in love with this palette. So the dupe that I found, but it's not really a dupe, but it does have a couple of the similar colors, is the Sports Girl Eyeshade Burgundy Eyeshadow Palette. Look how gross they get. They both have that same sort of material I don't it's not material it's kind of it's like cardboard but it feels kind of funny like the NARS feels kind of funny as well but anyway everything sticks to it you can't clean it so I'm sorry I'm a grot I know but um this is really beautiful as well and the pigment oh my goodness is quite incredible but see the colors so obviously it doesn't have as many colors but it has that same sort of tones um those same sort of tones as the the Violet Voss, and this one I think retails for about $15, so it's really, really, really affordable, but oh goodness, I'm trying to, trying to <laughs> hold them both up, but see, you've got the same sorts of colours, but I mean, $15, you can't go wrong, and it's drugstore, and it lasts um, a long time as well. I wouldn't go past this, but if you had no other option, this is really good as well. Next is one of my all-time favorite things. Oh my goodness, of course, because it's glitter. Glitter makes my world go round. Is the Steeler, I should have written these down, I'm so sorry. The Steeler, what are these called? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. These are so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, you can wear them on their own. You can also, what I tend to do, it depends. Depends what mood I'm in. Look at that, it's so beautiful. You can wear them on their own. If I wear it on its own, gorgeous. If not, I'll top it with a glitter or one of my Inglot pigments. It sticks really, really well to it. Absolutely love that. That real retails for $35. This is in Smoldering Satin. I have a few of their colors and they're beautiful. The dupe, but it's not a dupe, but kind of a dupe, but it's definitely not the same color, um, is from Sports Girl. And they've come out with a similar sort of thing, but obviously that is a very different color. Um, but I use it for the same sort of purpose to use as a base to stick glitter to. Yeah, sorry, very different. Um, or on its own just to be glitzy. I do prefer the Steeler because there is a lot more glitter. The Sports Girl one is a little bit more sparse, but if I'm just purely sticking glitter, I won't waste the Steeler one. I will just use this and it is fantastic. I think this one come in a pack of three for about $20 or $15, something really ridiculously cheap. So can't go wrong with either one, really both great to have in your makeup stash. So love. Speaking of glitter, oh my goodness, 
see. I just love it. Just love it. Favorite is my Inglot. Uh, I I had this in my Inglot haul actually. The pure the AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadows. This is in one two three. I'm actually wearing this today. <laughs> Represent. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful rose gold color. If these are still wet, oh they might be. So what I do is I just use that and then I put this on top and it sticks so well. And that is a complete fail because it's already dry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Professional YouTuber I am not. I'll just show you with my little trusty sports girl one. So I just use that as a base. Obviously I use a brush and not my finger usually. See, it just sticks to it and it's beautiful. You don't have to, but it just it makes it just pop even more. And that's obviously what I want. Um, that is gorgeous. I love this color. It goes well with so, so, so many different things. So that's this Inglot one. And this I'm pretty sure retails for $30. The sort of dupe that I found is the Australis Shimmer Pigment Pot. These are brand new. I've not seen these before. These are fantastic as well. It's not really the same color at all. They only have, I think, about three colors. This color, a burgundy and a copper color, they're all very beautiful. Um, but it's the same sort of thing. They're the duochrome, oh, they're the duochrome um, pigments and I just stick them on with some sort of base. You can use concealer, you can use, some people use eyelash glue. I wouldn't want to put eyelash glue all over my eyelid. <laughs> Knowing my luck, my eyes will be stuck open and I'm scary enough as it is. We don't need to walk around like that. But these were, I think I got this on sale when it was 30% off or something. So I think I paid $10 for it. So can't go wrong. I wish this had more uh, more of a color selection. Maybe they'll bring out more and that would be really cool. But do you love these. These are huge pots though. So again, can't go wrong. Always a staple in my makeup stash. Okay, moving on. Now, <laughs> my other favorite makeup item is highlighter. I don't think you can wear enough highlighter. I would smother my whole body in highlighter if I could just look like a disco ball or a diamond. I just want to be one big glitter speck. I mean, glitter makes my world go round. So <laughs> the more glitzy, the better. Oh my goodness, makeup artists are cringing everywhere. I'm sorry. So my favorite one of the month is the MAC. What is it called? It's upside down. Extra Dimension Skin Finish um, Highlighter in Show Gold. This is so beautiful. It's a rose gold color and it has so much shimmer in it. It's just absolutely beautiful. Let's see if you can. Oh, it doesn't show up as glitzy as what it is, but it really is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I think this one retails for about 45 Um dollars the dupe that i found was it's kind of a dupe but kind of not is the model's own brand and it's from priceline and this was i think about 17 dollars but isn't that gorgeous as well you can tell i've really dug into it a fair bit it is also a beautiful rose gold color the pigment is stunning it's it's not really a dupe, but just the glitziness of it is a dupe. I love it. I love them both. I kind of like to do that one and then layer that one on top just to be like, ding, in your face. Um, but it is gorgeous. $45 for one highlighter is pricey, but, you know, if... I don't know. I love them both. I think they're both gorgeous. Um... But if you can find this, give it a go. I mean, it's only, I think, $17. And then Priceline has uh, sales all the time, so you might get some percentage off. So these are my two favorite highlighters of the month. Next, we have lips. I forgot to put on lip stuff today. I was gonna wear this. Oh no, I'm sorry. 
This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Now, these actually stay all day, which is fantastic. I like something when it says it and it means it. This is a beautiful color. This is in patina. I think this rate retails for about $30 or $32, I think. It does stay all day. I like the smell of them. It smells kind of weird. Can't explain it. Um, whoa, it looks really dark on camera. It's not actually that dark. It's a perfect pinky nude color. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can wear it with pretty much any color makeup look. And any skin tone, it looks absolutely stunning. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Even when you eat or drink, it doesn't come off, but it doesn't go into, you know, sometimes when you use a matte lipstick, it goes in the cracks of your lips and it looks horrible. This does not do that, so really, really like that one. The dupe that I found is the designer brand, brands? The brand is called designer brand. How do you even say that to make sense? Designer brand, long wearing matte lip color in dusty nude. Now, not the same color, I'm sorry. I tried to find something similar. Similar, I tried. These are actually really good. These I think are only about, ooh, maybe $12. Um, similar formula, does not sink into the cracks of your lips because I hate that. It, it looks, generally matte lipsticks look terrible on me. But these two are really, really beautiful. Um, highly recommend both of these. So that's the Stila and that is the, oh my goodness, designer brand. So check these out. Next we have BB Cream. Um, I got this online. This is fantastic. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. And it's uh, SPF 50 plus. Now I got this for when we travel because I'm very concerned about um, skincare and the sun and I don't want to get burned. I'm really pasty so I burn very, very easy and I do tend to blister as well. So the more SPF the better. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really, really like it. I can't remember though how much it costs. I know it's not cheap. Um, and I think you get it from... I think it was from Sephora online, so it had to be shipped from Sydney because they don't have, we don't have Sephora here, unfortunately. Um, but I absolutely love this, and I double this as a primer, so I don't have, have a primer as well when I go traveling. Absolutely beautiful. I got medium, which I probably should have gotten a light. It's so hard to tell online because the light looks really, really, really light, but it's okay. I'll, I'll make it work, you know, whatever. Now the dupe that I found for that is the Chi Chi um, Super CC Cream. It's got caviar extracts. This is really moisturizing. This is amazing. In fact, I would probably pick this over this. The only thing I like more about this is it has the SPF 50 and this is only SPF 30. Um, but this is incredible. This I got in medium as well, but I can actually pull off medium or the light. I have both. This is amazing as a primer. It goes beautifully under foundation. In fact, I wear this every day under foundation. Absolutely love this. And I think this retails for about $30 um, from Maya or from Target. So they're my two favorites of the month in CC cream. I was going to call them BB cream. CC cream. Okay. Last, yep, last makeup items that I have is concealer. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof, Waterproof, that's exciting. Concealer, I didn't know that. Um, in light, this is really amazing. I like it because it doesn't sink too bad into the fine lines because I have ooh, terrible, terrible fine lines. I do like this one very much. I have no idea how much this costs. Again, I had to get it shipped from Sephora. Um, but it is really good. So I was gonna say, yeah, it lasts all day, of course, because it's waterproof, duh. Um, it is quite thick though, so you're gonna be very light-handed. The dupe, not really a dupe, the dupe that I found is that it looks so gross. I'm sorry, the, I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. It's a Revlon Youth Fix Fill and Blur Concealer in light pale. This is really nice, this one. Completely different applicators, um, though, 
this has a little spongy applicator which is nice it doesn't drag on your skin either and you can just kind of pat it in it's absolutely beautiful this one blurs as well so the reason I say it's a dupe is because this one is anti-aging and this one has a fill fill and blur so it kind of blurs in those little fine lines and lord knows I need help in that area so I don't know how much that is but I know this one is probably about $30 still um, but I always get it from Priceline when they might have 50% off Revlon so might pay $15 no actually I think it's $40 because I think I paid $20 but it is worth it but they're both worth it so check those ones out Um, I use a lot of skincare. I parlor on morning and night. I do not want to look like a prune and I do <laughs> So I try not to I try my best not to so one of the things that I use is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator Gel Cream very dry to dry combination um, I don't know why I have to use those voices. I'm sorry. Uh, it's like a, a beautiful gel and you put it underneath all your moisturizers and it just gives the extra boom of moisture if I don't use this my skin peels and it's horrible I look like I've got nice skin but I really don't it's like scaly dragon absolutely awful but it's good with this stuff but again it's expensive I think this is about I don't know off the top of my head it's about 50 or 60 dollars but I found a dupe exciting which is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost and this is the night concentrate I know it says night I use it morning and night whatever um, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a gel formula same sort of thing and pretty much does exactly the same And I think this is about $30. So roughly about half the price Give them both a go. This one's good because it's really good for sensitive skin, which I have I've got to be very careful and otherwise I break out in a rash not in pimples an absolute rash I've not had any trouble with this. So you might be okay with this if you're sensitive too. So That's my skincare So that's all for makeup. What should we do next? I think I'm going to do perfume. So my favorite perfume, because you all know I love to smell like a cupcake or fruit salad or something. I like to smell edible, which is kind of weird and kind of creepy and I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> DK and Wired Be Delicious. I love this. It smells like a fresh green apple salad oh it's so good whenever I wear it even guys have commented like you smell amazing I'm like I know right it was absolutely beautiful oh my gosh it's so gorgeous I absolutely love it and I actually found a dupe because this is uh, a high end this is EDP though and this is EDT but this does last all day too this is by Jessica Malboy called Be Beautiful and it smells almost exactly the same and this is half the price so this I'll tend to wear if I'm going out somewhere special just for everyday wear if I still want to smell like fruit salad but I don't want to waste my good stuff I'll use this one instead as you can tell I've used a fair bit of it and it does last pretty well and I have had said I have had people say to me are you wearing be delicious when you wear this I'm like no so that makes me happy so they're my favorite Speaking of smelling like a fruit salad, <laughs> the body wash mango. <laughs> I seriously, I just want to smell edible. So I love smelling people. You know when someone walks by, you're like, oh my goodness. I just want to tell them like, you smell good. But then I sound like a creeper. Yeah, I'm a bit of a creeper, I guess. <laughs> uh, the body washing mango. I got this at Christmas time. That's why it's so huge. It's this giant bottle makes me very happy anything giant or anything mini makes me happy that's in mango I don't have any dupes for it in fact the rest of the things now I don't have any dupes um, this is my favorite absolutely love it love the strawberry one too I used to love the peach one when they had it but they don't have it anymore so mango it is So now I'll move on to hair care. I've been trying out something different, which is the Bedhead Color Goodness Oil Infused Shampoo and Conditioner. This is amazing. 
Um, I swap and change all the time. My hair is very funny. It gets very used to shampoos and conditioners. Um, but my hair loves these. It's ultra moisturizing, does not strip out your color whatsoever. Not too heavy, but not too light either um because my hair is very dry it does need that extra moisture especially because i trash it with color um the things we do hey so this i really really love and it smells like cream caramel so i want to smell like a caramel fruit salad ah <laughs> these are beautiful i have no idea how much these cost because i get them from hair mart so they're gonna be a lot cheaper for me than if you're not a hairdresser or a beautician, you can't get them cost price, so I'm not sure how much they cost. But try these out, they're gorgeous. A lot of people ask me what I, how I keep my hair so red. One trick I do, which I shouldn't really tell, because it's probably not really good for you and it's a bit of a waste, but at the same time, whatever. Um, I hate faded red. I always want to look really bright. So when I wash my hair, Every time I wash it, I towel dry it. So I shampoo it, towel dry it, and then I comb through a good amount of this Joyco Color Intensity Semi-Permanent Magenta Color, and I leave it on for about 10 minutes. So I towel dry it really, really well, and I just pull it through on the ends and comb it through. And this is pretty much how I keep it vibrant all the time. Just beware, stains everything, stains your hands, stains your skin, stains, oh, see, I don't know if you can see, I saw it before. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's really bad for staining, you can't get it off, but hey, I'd rather have a stained scalp than have orange hair. I mean, orange hair is beautiful, but not on me. On me, it looks terrible. Um, so I absolutely love this. Again, I can't tell you the price because I get it cost price, but it is fantastic. So I leave it for 10 minutes, I rinse out, I re-shampoo, and then I condition with my caramel I was going to say body wash, my caramel shampoo and conditioner. Beautiful stuff. So I love this. So two more things. I'm going to save the best for last though. TV show of the month. I am such a dork. Oh, I love Full House. Have mercy. I love Full House so much. I have the whole set of all of them. Um, I just, I can't get no of it. It is so cheesy. It is fantastic. Good old family fun. How can you hate Full House? I don't know how anyone does. I like Fuller House as well, but I always prefer the old ones. I love Uncle Jesse. Oh, I love Joey. I love the Olsen twins. It is so bad that it's good, sorry. I've been binge watching. Also been binge watching Kitchen Nightmares by Gordon Ramsay. Oh my goodness. I feel so sad for these people when he yells, but the things that they do, you think, wow. Anyway, Full House, love it. Okay, two more things. And this is a weird favorite of the month. I was, yeah, sorry. Favorite shoe of the month. Can, do people do favorite shoes? I'm gonna do a favorite shoe of the month. My rose gold stilettos. Aren't they beautiful? Of course they're glittery. Everything I own is glitter or colorful in some way. I love it. Aren't they beautiful? I absolutely love these. Clearly they're not walking around shoes there. Let's go to dinner and let's sit down for the whole time and you know, have to hold my hubby's hand when I walk somewhere just in case I fall and break my arm or my neck or something. But they're beautiful and I love them. So they're my favorite shoe of the month. Oh, I got them from Betts as well. Last but not least, and certainly my absolute favorite thing of the month, of the year, of the decade of my life. Favorite accessory of the month. Can we just take a moment we need a moment. Oh. Okay, so obviously I have a slight obsession with Disney and anything Disney related. But how beautiful is this bag? Oh my goodness, I love it. It's from Loungefly. It can be a shoulder bag, a handbag. I mean, you can unclip these. Um, a crossbody bag if you 
open these up a bit more. I like to wear it as a shoulder bag. It is beautiful, it is spacious, it is well made, it is gorgeous, it is Disney, and need I say more, it is Minnie Mouse. If happiness was a handbag, this is it for me. I love it. My husband bought it for me, so thank you, honey. I love it very much. I will treasure this forever. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you can fit a lot in it. It's quite big, so that makes me happy too. So those are my absolute favorite things of the month, of the couple of months of this year already. I cannot believe it's almost Easter. Well, it is Easter. It's Easter tomorrow. I just can't believe it. It's insane. It's gone so fast. It's going to be Christmas before we know it. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be another year older. Ah. But that, are my, that, that those are my favorites of the month. I hope you enjoyed. Quickly, I just want to give a shout out to my most amazing friend who's just started off YouTube. Her name is Leah. I will link her video down below. She just did a favorites video, which is so awesome. She's from um, America and I love watching all their stuff because their stuff is so different. She did a really amazing job. I'm so proud of you, Leah. So please check her out and give her some love. She is amazing inside and out. Absolutely beautiful. I adore her. But yeah, they're all my favorites of the month. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me your favorites. Let me know what you like. Let me know if you have these and if you want to try them or if you have something else that you think I should try. I would love that too. I love hearing from you guys. You guys are just wonderful and I love all the support, the messages, everything that I get from you all. You're all just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful weekend, wonderful Easter. This will be posted after Easter. So I hope you had a wonderful Easter. And I hope that you all take care of yourselves. Love you all very much. Thank you for watching. Oh, and please subscribe, 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 and like this video and give me a comment if you like. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care of yourselves. Bye.